Today we're going to talk about how to recode data. Now, what do I mean by recoding data? Let's take a quick look at the Star Wars data set that's on the screen right now. So in the Star Wars data set, which incidentally, if you've installed the Tidyverse package onto your computer, you've got this data set. You can practice everything I'm going to show you at home, right? So the Star Wars data set's got rows, which are Star Wars characters, Luke Skywalker, etc., 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 and columns that are variables. We've got name, height, math, etc., etc. Now, how using R programming do we get from this data set, the original one, into a new one that I'm going to create over here? That is a little bit different. Let me talk you through the differences, right? Here we've got height in meters squared. The original data set had height in centimeters. We've also got gender using M and F instead of in the original set we had male, female, etc., etc. Also, we've gotten rid of all the missing values. We've created a new variable called size. Characters that are big that meet the criteria of being taller than one meter and weighing more than 75 kilograms. Right, so let's see how we can get to this new data set from the original one using some simple code. If you want to learn about R programming, then you have come to the right place. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. Of course, our starting point in R is we always call the tidyverse package, right? You only ever install it once, but you call it using the library or require function. And once you've called the tidyverse package, we also have access to the Star Wars data set, right? So we're going to create a new object, and we're going to call that object SW, and we're going to make that object equal to the Star Wars data set. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the variables that we want to work with. So we get the pipe operator up and running. Shift command M gives you the pipe operator. Enter. Now we type in the command select. And which variables do we want? We want name, height, mass, and gender. Now I'm going to rename mass and call it weight just because I prefer that. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of missing values. Voila. Missing values are gone. Right, I'm going, to, I'm going to create a separate video on how to deal with missing values some other time. Next, I want to take height, which is at the moment in centimeters, and I want to change that to meters. In other words, I want to divide each of these numbers by 100. So I use the function mutate, right, get a pipe operator, mutate, and with mutate, you can either create a new variable or change an existing variable. In this case, I'm going to change an existing variable. I'm going to take height, make it equal to height divided by 100. And now, bada bing, bada boom, these are in meters. Let's have a look at the gender variable. Here we've got it as males and females. We want to change that to M and F. We, might, we, we could change that to zeros and ones. We could change it to anything we wanted. But importantly, in fact, if you scroll down, we can see that there's not just male and female, but we've also got hermaphrodite here. So before we carry on, we want to filter this variable and make sure that we've just got males and females. And I'm going to show you two ways to filter. Firstly, we can say filter gender is equal to male. And then a vertical line like that is or gender is equal to we use the double equal signs because we're asking a question of the filter. We're saying, is any given observation equal to male or is it equal to female? And if so, use that observation, right? If we use just a single equal sign, that means we're making a statement that this is equal to that. Push command, enter. And now if we go up into our data set, we don't have anything except males and females. Now, a slightly more elegant way of doing the same filter is we could say gender in concatenation male female. Right, that does the same thing. The reason this is a slightly more elegant solution is because sometimes you may have many, many possible uh, uh, kinds of observations you want to filter for, and uh, using a con concatenation like that is tremendously useful. Okay, so we push enter now, and of course we get the same thing. Now let's recode male and female into M and M. So we go, let's do our pipe operator. We're going to do, do a mutate because we're changing an existing variable. We're changing the gender variable. It's going to be equal to, we're using a new command called recode, right? And what is it that we're recoding? It's 
gender. Uh, then I like to put a comma just to keep things neat and go to the next line, but you don't have to. We're going to recode male, and that's going to be equal to M, comma, next line, but you don't have to. Female is equal to F. Command enter. And there you go. And the last thing we want to do is, is if we look at our data frame, we want to create a new variable called size. And we want size to say for any of these Star Wars characters, if they're taller than one meter and, and more than 75 kilograms, we're going to call them big and otherwise we're going to call them small. So let's have a look at how we do that. All right, so once again, we're going to say, and then, so the pipe operator is like saying, and then mutate, we're going to create a new variable called size. It's going to be equal to any observation with a height is more than one meter and the weight is more than 75 kilograms. Now, if we look at the data frame, it's, us it's using trues and falses to say whether or not those criteria were met. This is what we call a logical vector. So to change the trues and falses into bigs and smalls, let's put a comma here. We're gonna continue with the same mutate, right? So we've got size is equal to, now this is a nice little trick. It's called if else, right? And it's saying if, so we take if size is equal to true, then put in big, otherwise put in small. And boom, shakalaka, there you go. So if you are serious about learning how to analyze data and you wanna learn R programming, then hit the subscribe button now and hit the little bell notification if you wanna get notified of future videos. Please hang up and try again.